So to use the Zoho CRM, you're going to come to zoho.com slash CRM and then click sign in up here. The username and password I've emailed to you. Click sign in. So we're going to land here on our dashboard and there's three things that we're going to be using mainly and that's leads, accounts, and contacts. Leads is a list of contact names and company names. Um, accounts is only a list of companies and contacts is only a list of actual contacts. Um, so everything starts as a lead but then if they agree to join our mailing list or you know agree to come to the seminar we can press convert and then their contact information turns into a contact and all their business information turns into an account. Um, so for now we're just working with leads. I'm going to click here um, to leads and it's going to display a list here. Um, so if I wanted to add a new one, uh, what I first might do is just search by phone number to make sure it's already in there, or if it's already in there. So I'm going to come back here and just put in this phone number that I know is in here somewhere. And I put dashes in between the phone number, that's important to find it. So then it, it returned this record here that matched that phone number, and I could go click on the contact name and, and edit any of this information that I wanted to. Um, coming back here to leads, if I didn't find anybody I would add it as a new lead and then just put in all the information that I had on that particular person or company. Um, to generate yourself a list, um, if you search by let's say zip code, it's not really, uh, it doesn't search the address fields which is kind of annoying so I'm going to go here to create view and then I'm going to give it criteria. So I would say, let's find the zip code. Zip code is 19083. And I would say add criteria. And the default is end. So there's no way I could have zip code 19083 and zip code 003. I would change this to or. So it's going to return a list of Howertown or Ardmore or let's say Upper Darby. I want to give this view a name so that I can come back to it. I'm going to call this Havertown Ardmore Upper Darby. And then also down here, choose which columns you want it to display. So right now it's going to show first name, last name, company, and email. Um, I, we don't have any emails, so I'm going to get rid of that, but I do want to see the phone. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to see. I probably just want to see this company name further up at the top. So I'm going to save this view. Now I'm back here, and it's only going to show me companies uh, with those zip codes. Here's my list. Um, I can export this list if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, that's how you add a contact, um, search for an existing contact. The only thing else I want to go over are duplicates. You will notice some duplicates in here. Um, so let's just keep an eye out for one here. There's two here under Mayor Laboratories. This is PC with a lowercase. This is PC uppercase with a space in the middle. Um, so I'd ask for everyone's help just deduping these. I'm going to click on the contact name and then click on this button up here that says find and merge duplicates and then it's just going to give me this whole list of duplicates here um, I see two Theodore Mayers so I'm going to check these off click next and now it's going to show me the two different types of information and which one I want to keep you know as as the official name so I'm going to keep this as uppercase looks like everything else is the same so I'm going to click merge and now I've gotten rid of one of the duplicates. So if you look up someone and you notice there's two of them, click on the contact, go to find and merge duplicates, and just get rid of that while you're in there. Um, so this is a little preview of Zoho CRM and hope that was helpful.